For a new challenge, I'm playing Kenshi as a torso alone, stranded in the middle of the desert. I tried this challenge previously, but I had a hive henchman to carry me along. This time, I'm going at it on my own. I can imagine that many nameless perils lie in wait of a defenseless torso, crossing the desert for himself. And the road won't be easy, but Rome wasn't built in a day, and I won't get my limbs back for a while either. If you want to follow along with this challenge, you can use the Torso Start mod, but just make the Hiver Servant run away at the beginning of the playthrough, that's how I'm doing it. Strategically, I'm stumped on a good method of survival, as I've never tried it before, and I'm writing this script before I've started the challenge, but I think it will be very interesting and involve a lot of stealing. As for growth, I'll never be recruiting any other characters. This is a true solo mission. Now can we survive? Let's go on to the playthrough. Okay, so we've spawned here in the middle of the desert, and the first thing we need to do is to become a truly solo torso. So goodbye, Logan. And I decided to name him Torsolo, a portmanteau of torso and solo, get it? And so we're stuck here between Shobatai and Heft. Since Shobatai is vaguely closer, I'm going to head in that direction. Really for one of two things, either to be enslaved by someone along the way, or just, um, well, steal things. I'm probably going to be needing to spend a lot of time stealing. Currently our character's level one at everything. And we'll set him to sneak so that he does start to gain sneaking experience as other characters come along. Because right now he's just slowly gaining athletic skill as he shambles, th not really even shambles, Shambles just squirms through the desert. Now the main thing to look out for during this desert crossing is- Ah, there we go. It's the, uh, the dreaded skimmers. Okay, the skimmers could be the death of us. Avoiding them at all costs as slow as we are uh, would be very good. So we will try to avoid them and pick up other people along the way. There go a few right now. Logan appears to be getting killed by something. Okay, Logan is dead forever. Okay, we are going to leave him behind because this playthrough isn't fair with him in there. This is a solo playthrough. Okay, we're halfway there almost. And it looks like there's a few more skimmers out there. Now sometimes they fly up in the air or get trapped in wacky interpretive dance positions like this one. This one looks like it's doing some sort of sun salutation. But it's not dead, it's only unconscious right here. So this is a threat to us. We are over here. We are over here. But it looks like that those outlaws just did us sort of a favor here. All right, well, thank you, gentlemen. That'll be all. Okay, it says that this one is going to become unconscious or conscious again in five seconds. So let's just wait and find out. I guess that's its weenus. Okay, there. Oh, that is interesting. Keep your eyes peeled and keep your wits about you. Okay, here comes a, what appears to be a bone dog, so we'll just want to stop for a moment and allow the bone dog to pass. There it goes, and it's at a breakneck speed. Now I'll add this too, if it does not appear as if we're moving, we're actually going at a one mile an hour, uh, but our hunger is at 160 and dropping, so that's definitely something that we want to take care of here. What is that on the ground? It doesn't appear as if it can be picked up, it's just a, a piece of green. Okay, carry on then, carry on. Now to put this into perspective, we aren't past Passing by any other nearby NPCs, so we don't have any stealth, we're just gaining athletic skill. It's not really making us faster though, I think he might max out at two miles an hour. Okay, and here we go with some sand ninja, they look friendly though. We'll just leave them to carry on. But we do gain some stealth skill from being near them. We'll have more people when we get to town. And night approaches now. And we're actually training more stealth as we go. We're halfway there. Uh, and you can do it. You can do it. Alone, 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 alone. Ah, dawn approaches. Today we will come to the city gates. And with a loss of only 20 hunger. Ah, now Logan has actually been enslaved. We'll let him continue his life and just not look at him. He's lost a lot. But this story is about Torsolo. And the city appears in the distance. Ah, Shobatai. Not exactly a good city, but a city nonetheless. Okay, don't let that attack you, and only about 500 more yards. Excellent work, Torsolo. Let's just have a little POV moment. This is what it's like to be the man. Okay, and there it comes in the distance. Any minute now. I can't wait to get in there. Hopefully they'll let me in. I'll probably have the looks like a slave attribute. And I have one pair of sandals to buy a meal with. That might keep me going for a few days, though. Right, well, it looks like some slave hunters have been ambushed outside of here by a skeleton army. So maybe there'll be another opportunity to be enslaved. Not sure why I'm so happy about it. I mean, it might be good if they feed me. It would be preferable to stealing everything for now. They would at least heal me, too. Kenshi's an odd world. There we go, just squirm your way up. I kind of like it in fast motion. He looks like a caterpillar. And now we're training stealth again. 
Okay, let me in. Hopefully they won't find this suspicious. And is anyone going to ask me in? Nope, I wouldn't ask anything either. Okay, now I'm a man about the town. First priority is going to be food. If I don't any eat any, I'll die. Oh, I've got 124 remaining, so I have time to train my stealth and get better at stealing. Might even be able to steal a meal here and there. Or if I get myself arrested, I could train lockpicking. I think I'll go to the General Goods Emporium. Right this way, my good man. Right inside. And here we go. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, we gotta take off sneak mode. And I'll just talk to him. Get good at haggling. Okay, show me your goods. Now, a ration pack is 1,152 cats. My sandals are worth 50. I'm selling sandals, but it's gonna be a while before I can eat the good food. Now I'm going back to sneaking, and I'm going to get better at stealing, because I'm gonna need to steal some of this man's food if I want to eat. He has everything out. So I'll hang out by the main gate where there's a lot of NPCs to train my skill. And we're already level 6 in stealth and rapidly rising. We just need to wait till nightfall when we're less visible. We've also got the bar and the police station. Bada bing, we're level seven. Bada bing. And now it's rising. It appears to be more rapidly in here. And we have more stuff we could steal. We just need to get somewhere we can't be seen. Now, I'm gonna take this stuff. I just committed a crime and no one cared. Another one, and let's get a third crime. I'm doing these crimes in the dark where the shopkeeper isn't watching me. He's busy looking at the barrel. Meanwhile, I am over here taking all of the shit off the tables. Let's see if we could grab that meat wrap as well. Steal. And I ate it. Victory for Tor Solo. <laughs> what are other expensive items we could take here? A wooden... Uh, that's not very expensive. Cactus rum. He's still looking at the barrel. Let's get that armor plating. And we'll just grab everything else. I'm not even good at this yet, but it's pretty OP. I've never actually tried the stealing in Kenshi, but I love it already. Mm, what's a grind machine? Ah, a food cube. I'll take that too. Go in for the win. And this stuff is fairly, uh, fairly pricey. You know, we'll put away a cup. You can have your cup back. I'll take that food cube. All right, goodbye. Goodbye, barkeep. You'll be seeing me again. Tor Solo strikes again. Oh, really? I mean, if you saw this guy come into your bar, you probably wouldn't stop him if he just started stealing a bunch of electronics. You might even help him. All right, since the shop is closed, we'll just spend the whole night crawling around over here and training our stealth. When the uh, guards pass and don't see me, I'll gain more quickly. And we'll do this till morning. In this way, I'm going to become a master thief. I'm just trying to picture what the townspeople would think of a man such as this one. Just a torso who wandered in from the desert with no one. Starving and alone. Went to a shop, then a shopkeeper wouldn't let him have anything unless if he had money. So he stole everything and then crawled around in circles at the city gate for a few hours. And no one said anything. Now, it's dawn. It's time for the shop to open. And to be honest, I can steal all of the food. Hello, my good man. I'll be back several times. Now, we have a 59% chance of getting caught for selling a stolen item. We might need to get better at this before we go. Either that or I'll have to go to jail many times. Times. Hmm, what's in here? Hmm, what's in here? Hmm, another bar. What's in here? Ooh, lots more people we can train in here. Let's just go to a secluded corner. Oh, and it looks like I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck between the wall and the pole. So I think that the only option is to just get caught stealing. Okay, I'm just gonna steal all of the, uh, good. Okay, they're going to arrest me. I'm just going to steal all of the rest of the bread. And... No, I won't even be- Okay, they're good. They're just taking me away. They aren't even beating me up. Boy, I see you creeping around there. What the fuck? Well, fortunately, he didn't harm me at all. He is a, a benevolent, uh... He, are you one of the police, or are you just... Okay, good, you're just a shop guard, you're just, uh... He's going to report me to the police. Well done, well done, good. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. In private security can just put you in jail. Okay, well, here I am now. Uh, I deserve this. I shouldn't have done that. Now I can train lock... But my arms are messed. Uh, you know, I forgot about this, that he can uh Yeah, I can't even pick locks. Not even with my stumps. Fortunately, they did leave me my, fu my food cube. So that was positive. All right, so I might be here a while thinking about what I've done. But in the meantime, I'm going to hatch a plan. Now, it's going to involve a lot of stealing. A lot of stealing and then eventually getting arrested. Arrested. Now, Shobatai was uh, a bit of a bust, I must say. So let's go to Heft. There's a skeleton shop there, and I should be able to buy some limbs once I've stolen enough things. Afterward, I'll get arrested and then get the limbs put back on me. And in this way, I will achieve arm. Just a few more days in here. Only 41 more hours, to be exact. And then they let me off. Well, at least I'm safe inside my mind. Okay, well, I spent, uh... 
20... I've spent 30 hours so far in jail. Did not know that your uh, hunger just stops around 200, so you can't starve in jail. I mean, my life's not getting any better here, but it's not getting any worse either. You know, while we're waiting out our jail sentence, although I'm not playing as this character, I'm just gonna try to get him killed. Because, uh, you know, it's a, it's a distraction. Okay, let's just try to escape, and... Great, I'm out of here. Okay, and they are going to... Good, let's get, uh, good. Oh man, they really don't want me to lose my limbs. That's why they use blunt objects. Hmm, what about this guy? I'm sure he'll want to kill me. Here we go, please kill me. Good, good, some stabbing weapons would be great. Great, and good, that's the end of that. Uh, no, please don't, please don't help me. Damn it, I really wanted to get out of here. He really likes me. Oh yes, he does, he is touching my... What is he doing to my weenus? Damn it. Damn it. I have- Yes. I have paid for my crimes against the state. Reformed am I. Okay, unfortunately there's nothing I can steal from the jail. There's only one very powerful looking hive regard. Uh, a new life. A new life of justice. And uprightness. But the hunger has begun again. Time to go get back into jail. Okay, what should I steal today? No wonder the recrimination rate is so high. They don't feed you for doing nothing. But they do give you attention and feed you if you do something bad. Especially something really bad. There wasn't even anything good up here either. Alright, I guess it's back to the other bar. I'm just trying to imagine the anger and the injustice this man must feel. On top of everything he had to be angry at about to begin with. Now he's been in prison for two days because he clipped through the floor. Okay, time to steal a sandwich. Committed a crime, but I am fed and I've eaten the evidence. We can just grab some other parts. This bartender is still staring at a barrel. He's working and we have enough food for the journey. Now it's time to say goodbye. Although I love show Bataille, they didn't have any arms or legs for me and I know a place that does. Goodbye town. Hello wilderness. I'm back inside of you. So good to be inside of you again. And we're gonna avoid that. That is powerful. Uh, another odyssey across the desert. I live for this. Here we go. Into the desert. Alone. 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 Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank God they didn't do it. I thought they were going to enslave me. Manhunters. Thank you. That was actually quite uh, good natured of them. No, I'm not hungry. Not hungry at all. I couldn't eat another bite. And it's been one week in game, so I guess I should do a skill update. Athletics 37, stealth 31. And those are really the two things that matter. The rest is sort of irrelevant. We could pick up objects and run around with them. That would train our strength but I guess I'll just be weak okay goodbye caravan at least it gave me an opportunity to uh, train my stealth nobody knows about me and we're almost there almost where we want to go uh, it's rendering in the distance good morning gentlemen I'll just be passing by good morning now have a swell day have a swell day uh, we'll get in after nightfall now if we can't steal goods here there's always a lot of raids on the outside and it would be possible to just take things off of bodies that come near and then sell them and earn enough to buy an arm and if I could get an arm I could go a long way with that arm beyond where Ever torso has gone before. Wow, a full desert crossing. Wow, we make it at dawn. It'll be midday by the time we get to the gate. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm a happy man. And they're gonna stop me. What's my business? I'm here to uh, stock up on supplies. Okay, they think I look clean. Um, I can't imagine why. I just stole a bunch of goods. I guess it's because it's not from this city. That was one reason why I stole them from the other city. All right, I guess that doesn't bother them. Weird, but okay. Yeah, I'm an upstanding guy. Excuse me, gentlemen. I'll just be selling these, uh, the sake and the skeleton muscle. That's actually quite valuable. And some steel bars and a hinge. Wish I'd had better stuff. Hello, hello. I'm finally here. I've been waiting to meet you. And they are accepting my stolen goods from the other city. That is really nice of them. Okay, I guess I'm saving up my money and I could just go to jail whenever I need food. It's not that complicated. Now, after only a few hours of crawling, I've managed to gain athletics level uh, 50 almost. And stealth level 35, which is going up now that we're in town. Here we go, my favorite skeleton repair shop in the game. This man will have an arm and a leg for me. 
Okay, don't cut me in line, please. I guess he wasn't satisfied. Now this gentleman sells the finest arms. Why, hello, my good man. Now we want to buy shoddy grade arms. Everything else is far too expensive and maybe some economy legs. I'll at least buy the shoddy leg. Okay, now we're just waiting for him to restock. Oh wow, turns out I was wrong. I thought I needed somebody with arms to put these on. So then I can just put the- how did I put it on though? Right, whatever, um, okay, I have a leg now. Right, I'm gonna need one more leg. I still don't have enough money for another leg. Ah, there we go. Uh, starving vagrant. We can loot him. Go, go, go. There we go. The American dream personified. Literally up by the bootstraps. And two vagrants here with my name on them. Thank you very much. I'll take those things. Hi, roller coming through. Oh, now I have a stealth garment. No one can see me. I've come back for your other leg, my good man. Oh, he sold it. Oh, wait, no, he got another one in stock. Well, praise Thor, praise Thor. Just sell these old rags and the weapons. There we go, buy myself a new wiener. Sell my armor. And suddenly I have two legs walking around like a new man. Hot woman coming through. Step aside, boys, there's a new guy in town. Hey, gentlemen. I can sneak around like never before. Unfortunately, I can remove my legs to get more stealthy. Okay, we're in a perfect position to steal. I can get away with many crimes from under the table. I wonder if I can go over here. Ooh, maximum stealth mode. I'll just take this cup and these chew sticks and this hacksaw. Ooh, I'm out of space. I'll put on one leg and just stack up the items I don't want anymore on the floor and leave them in a suspiciously well-balanced pile. Really a Houdinian feat. Okay, it's two-leg time. Nobody expects me. I'm like a spider. Hello again, my good man. Ah, uh, now I can't actually sell the goods because I have a 57% chance of getting uh, You know what I mean. So we're gonna need to drop these stolen goods. Again, in a suspiciously well-balanced pile. Go back out to where uh, skimmers are spawned. Now we should be able to sell the meat from them and buy an arm. Here we go. Just a few tusks and some meat. A few more. And wowzers, a full inventory of animal claws. Which are quite valuable considering that they're just, you know, beasts of the wild. We'll sell them all to him. We'll buy an arm. What a successful trip to the shop. I finally have an arm. Uh, you know, let's get him a full set of limbs. He's so close and he just looks so smashing right now. I have another idea. Time for some strength drain. Oh. Wow, he cannot carry anybody with just one arm? Alright, time to save up for another arm. Now that I can move about with decent proficiency, I think it's time to sneak around the bar. My plan for this character is that he become basically like a stealth ninja. Stealth and, uh, just stealing things. I haven't played a character like that, so it should be a new kind of run. If possible, he could also assassinate people. But for this man, I don't know why no one suspects him. No one will expect me from behind the bread oven. Oh. Okay, what about over here? Perfect, perfect. Give me that bread. Goodbye. Goodbye. And I think we'll buy back our stealth robes. I don't see why not. They were making life better. As well as our rag shirt. Or our, uh, oh wait, no, those aren't good. Never mind. I like how he pads part of his claw with the robe like it's a mitten for his hand. We have improved, we have improved so much. Well, I think it's safe to say that this man truly represents the American dream. He's literally taken himself off of the ground, stolen goods and fed himself, been arrested for unjust reasons, went to jail for two days and crossed a desert twice. And now, spiderly though he is, he is using his guile and stealth and his booty to steal his vengeance. It's like the Count of Monte Cristo. Oh, we've got more training to do with him. I think we really need to just take him to a, a ninja town where he can steal goods, but then at that point, uh, uh, we can actually grind him into a decent character. I want to go solo with him since, uh, since the last time we did a torso star it just sort of turned into a whole team effort and I, I could see him growing as one, but only one, no more. All right, thanks for watching and, uh, join us next time for more Torso Man. Anyway, as always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.